Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about running S19, a non-pro version from Bitmain. We're gonna be running them on Brains, 95 terahash. So we're talking about the difference between that minor and running just stock Bitmain. So if you think that's interesting, hit like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and go to CryptoLLC.org if you're looking to set up a ASIC farm or a GPU farm on your own property, or maybe you just wanna host. We have hosting available at this farm. We can put about 500 miners here. So if you're interested in that, go to CryptoLLC.org. And before we get started, Bitcoin saves your wealth and Jesus Christ saves your soul. All right, so today's video, we're gonna be talking about running on brains or running on Bitmain. So if you have any of these S19 series <clears throat> miners, uh, the ones we're running are S19 uh, 95 terahash. These are the non-pro, the non-J. These are not K or the A version. These are just uh, original S19 minor so i'll show you guys a little bit up close so you can see it's just a regular s19 maybe give you guys a shot from the uh, back here Power supply. Can't really tell you know, which S19 it is. You can't really tell which S19 it is. Uh, the power supply does give you a hint. Um, a lot of the S19s came with the standard power supply. And then when you had the J, the Pros, uh, J Pros, a lot of them came with the, uh, the E version, the CDE version. So for those that know, they know kind of guess what kind of miner it is. But anyway, I'll be talking about the details. Now, I would talk inside of the container. We're really loud, so I might as well talk out here. So when you run these on Bitmain standard firmware, uh, your efficiency is 35. It's about 35. Now, obviously, as it gets colder outside, you could save a bit there, maybe drop a point. Since the fans are spinning slower, you'll save some watts. So you'll drop a little bit. But you get about 35. Uh, watts per terahash. So if it's 95 terahash, it's gonna be 95 times 35. Now with, with Brains, Brains runs them more efficiently. So they have their own algorithm, their own hashing algorithm. And when you run that on Brains, you're gonna be saving quite a bit. Also depends on how hot it is outside, um, but you'll be saving quite a bit. Save about, about 200 watts per miner. So you're gonna be dropping maybe two, three points so maybe two, 300 watts, which is a great deal amount of watts. Um, and if you take it and you scale that up, you say, hey, I got 100 miners and they're all saving me 300 watts because I'm on brains. Those 300 watts times 100 means you got uh, 30,000. So you got 30,000 additional watts. On that 30,000, that means you can deploy 30,000 more worth of miners. So again, if your miners are consuming 3,000 watts and you got 30,000 watts, then that means you can deploy uh, 10 miners. So by doing this, by actually using less watts, it gives you an uh, opportunity to deploy 10 more, maybe 20 more, 30 more. And that's just going off of 100 miners. Now, if you have a farm that's 1,000 miners, you know how that scales up really fast. So when you do the math, a lot of times, it makes more sense to run them a little slower um, to increase the efficiency. Um, because you're running them slower or maybe just, you, you know, in this case of S19s, just running them on regular brains, you're already saving watts. It doesn't happen on all miners um, at stock speeds, but on this one it does. But anyway, by scaling it like that, you could actually add more miners per megawatt than you otherwise would. And so you would have more terahash at the end and you actually make more Bitcoin. So that's one way of increasing your production. Now, if you're getting these S19s at a great price, like for our client here, we got these at a really, really, really cheap price. Uh, these miners are all used miners, um, but we've been running S19s, so we know that they are solid miners. They are absolutely solid. They rarely ever break. They run perfectly smooth. They run fine. Um, if they ever have any problems, it's usually something very insignificant, like you need to tighten the heatsink, 
or you need to replace a resistor or a capacitor or something like that. So these miners are really solid. That's what we recommend for all of our clients. It's a goal of S19 from Bitmain. You can basically get any version, but we recommend obviously to get the, the, uh, one of the cheaper versions and just run them in low power mode. So your efficiency drops a great deal. I mean, it goes up actually, but you know, your watts per tera has drops a great deal. And your efficiency is really good, nice and solid efficiency. Uh, for some of our clients, we're actually running them in low power mode. Um, if you run like a J at low power mode, you're gonna get about 24 watts a terahash, which is really, really nice because that's very, very close to a S19K. Or if you're, you know, you look at like S21s, those are about 17, 17, 18. But anyway, gives you like a general idea. And uh, <clears throat> that's what we do for some of our clients. If they go with an S19 regular, you get them a, a nice cheap price, you put brains on them, efficiency is good, it's decent, good efficiency. And uh, that allows you to just run them, you know, and get a good ROI. Because if your miner is only, you know, $800 or $600, your ROI is going to be a lot faster than buying a miner for $3,000, you know, and so on. But yeah, that's uh, today's video, just talking about the difference there. Um, our client here at this farm, um, he wanted to switch everything back to running just 95 terahash on the S19s. Yeah, brings him more money, so he wanted to do that at this farm. Um, and uh, for you know, depends on what miner you have, uh, and w what your price per per kilowatt hour is. It'll make a big, great big impact on how you're gonna run the miners. But yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. Hope you guys like it. You know what to do? Like this video, subscribe to the channel, go to cryptollc.org if you want to set up a farm. We can build a farm for you. Uh, we can host for you. Uh, whatever you're looking for, 5 megawatts, 10 megawatts, 1 megawatt, whatever you're looking for, go to CryptoLLC.org. That's going to be it for this one. Until next time, bye.